So Ed, you know, I, I, I feel a feel pressure to go ahead and press right into asking you about this. You know, it just hit me as you were speaking. I haven't heard uh, out of all the interviews I've seen with you how you actually came to know Christ and what part of your life that that happened in. I'd be interested. Wow. To hear, I'm well, sure you have shared it. Maybe I just haven't had the opportunity. No, I haven't. I've never been asked that before. And by okay. the way, mm-hmm. I always say this to everybody listening too. I mean, I'm I'm a as a Christian, mm-hmm. I'm a sinner saved by the grace of God, right? So I'm messing up all the time. I'm not a perfect Absolutely. person by any means. That's thank thank God I have my salvation yeah. and God's God's grace. So I just want to say that first. I don't hold myself out as some holier than thou guy because I'm not. There's been two centerpieces for me in my faith life. The first is actually my wife because my wife's father was a lay minister in the Lutheran church. And I met my wife when I was a little boy. I was just very young. We were high school sweethearts, but also her brother's a pastor and, and now teaches pastors at the Lutheran seminary in, uh, in Missouri Senate. In, in, so he's a teacher of pastors. So um, I had faith around me, but ironically, my faith came to me through business. Um, I was making some money. I was doing well. I was a very ego driven guy, still fight that, but I was very ego driven, very up and down. Uh, in my business, like most people can relate to, very, I don't know, driven by what people thought about me, driven by just money, which I think you should be driven by money. I think that's a healthy obsession, but I think it can cross over to be unhealthy if you're just chasing things of the world because it'll never fill you up. You'll you'll be happy when you get, make a lot of money. You'll be happy when you buy your jet. You'll be happy when you buy your Ferrari. I promise you, you'll be happy. Right now, I'm staring at the Pacific Ocean in my backyard, looking through my backyard here. I'm happy. Trust me, people tell you money won't make you happy. They're, they're just wrong or they don't have any. Having said that, it won't fulfill you. Here we it will go. never fulfill you. You'll always be empty. And so for me, it's an empty thing. In other words, it's short term. And so I was looking for fulfillment. I was looking for what life was really all about. And I was, I was on a contest I had won in Hawaii on a trip. And I was on a boat and two very successful men that I admired very much said, um, I said, why are you guys so darn fulfilled? Even mm-hmm. though I was making similar money to them. And one of them said, do you really want to know? And I said, yeah, I'd be curious to know. And we walked up on the top deck of the boat Wow! and they gave their testimonies to me. And right there on the top of that boat in Hawaii, I accepted Christ on my knees with these two men with their hands on me. So oh, wow. I've never, I've never answered that before. So that that's where it happened. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. My next question coming off, I, I'd love to press into that story. I know we're a little bit pressed for time. Sure. Um, you know, I'll be honest with you, Ed, most of the people I've interviewed on this show, and it mm. is, could have something to do with God at work, but it's very interesting mm. to me. I didn't expect it. I really didn't. Mm. But it, it's like he's showing me, it's like, look, even if you do press into your pursuit of, you know, if you're looking for notoriety, if you're ego driven, if you want to make money, I, mm. at some level, I believe every human being is that. However, sure. it, it's amazing to see, like, I'll be talking with these these heavy hitters, high performers, New York Times bestselling, you name it. And they're, mm-hmm. oh, at the end of the interview, oh, yeah, oh, by the way, you know, I'm a man of faith, and that's really important to me. Or their quote might be a Bible verse, or their book might be the Bible, their influential book, all this stuff. And it just blew me yeah. away. It blew me away. Yeah, yeah, and I can tell you, there's there's two things, just, just to rift with you here, that have surprised me on my show. One is that I end up mentoring most of them. So these high, high level performers still want to mentor. They still want to coach. They still want somebody to believe in them. And so whether it's been the athletes or the entertainers or the very successful business people, I think most of them would tell you 80, 85, 90% of them I'm involved in their lives on some level. And so that surprised me. And then the second thing that surprised me was either they have faith and that was wonderful, or frankly, the ones that don't, how many of them share with me that they struggle with depression off camera wow. and that they're not filled. And so there's a really dangerous thing that can happen. That's not talked a lot about, which is that if you really do chase just money, by the way, I want everyone on listening to this to be very wealthy. I want them to live in the most beautiful home they want. Life should be about living greatly. And part of that, if it's a priority to you, it was, and is to me is to live in beautiful places. I, Hey, I absolutely love that. Believe me. I love that. But the other element was brother, the, they'll get off camera and go, Hey man, can you help me? I'm, I'm depressed. I'm down. I just, I don't feel happy. I, I, I don't know what it is. I've, I've chased this dream. I've caught it. I chased another one. I caught it. I chased another one. I caught it and it lasts a while. And then I kind of feel empty. And so it was, it's both the ones who had faith. And by the way, someone like T.O., for example, yeah. mm-hmm. is a good man of faith. T.O. a good dude. He's a misunderstood young man. I call him young man. He's not that much younger than me, but I, I look at him almost like a son or a brother. And, um, there's a bunch of these folks that are really have faith that might surprise you. And then there's some people that you think are probably some of the happiest people in the world. 
that are pretty darn depressed because they don't have any belief that this life has any meaning beyond it. And that can be very empty for people if they don't believe there's any meaning to being here beyond acquiring things, just getting things, just getting stuff, you know, and that's a hollow thing. Eventually, no matter how nice the stuff is, you have to bring you with you to that stuff. And if you don't believe you're going somewhere when you leave here and that there's a promise for a better life, it can be a pretty empty experience. So that's the two things that surprised me. Mm. Thank you for sharing that. Sure. What you just heard was a micro clip from episode 35 with Ed Milet titled, What You Haven't Heard. If you want to hear more of this interview, scroll to episode 35 with Ed Milet, What You Haven't Heard on whatever listening platform you are on, and enjoy the interview. I'm going to be coming out with more micro clips or micro episodes if you are sampling the podcast or if you are wanting to review some of the stuff that you've heard from past interviews, but you don't feel like going all the way back to it. These clips will provide that for you. They'll be typically under nine minutes, though, seven to nine minutes. All right. And I'll see you on Fantastic Friday's episode coming out Friday. Congratulations on making it to the end of this episode. What about this episode stood out to you? Next, I need your help sharing this show. I want this podcast to impact and reach 6,000 people per episode by August 31st, 2019. And I want us to reach 15,000 people per month by March 29th, 2020. Have you been enjoying multiple episodes of The Hard Healthy Hustle? I'm thrilled to share with you an exclusive invitation to join our new Facebook community. To get to know other Heart Healthy Hustlers, simply go to thehearthealthyhustle.com forward slash Facebook, where you can expect to see different members of our community being featured weekly in Facebook Live calls. I appreciate all of your love and support, and I will see you in the next episode. As always, be generous on every occasion. There is a story for you, and live wide open.